Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up multiple audio tracks in one video file in OBS Studio. This will not work in Classic, so make sure you have Studio. You can get it from the link in the description. Just say, select your operating system, select Studio, download, and uh, install it. Very easy to install. As far as I remember, there's no bloatware. And yeah, I'm not going to be going over that in this tutorial. I'm going to be getting straight into the system and how to set up OBS. So what I mean by multiple audio tracks is that you can separate your audio from your microphone and your system sound from Windows into separate audio channels in one video file. So it doesn't export into multiple tracks or multiple files. It's still within one file. And this just adds a lot of flexibility for post-processing so you can volume up and down your individual audio tracks or completely mute or cut individual audio tracks. So you can completely cut out your microphone and just have system sound or completely cut out system sound and just have microphone or vice versa. It just adds more flexibility and it's, it's just a great option to have. Uh, even if you don't plan on doing anything, I still recommend it just in case. It just adds an extra security blanket and uh, stops you ruining as many files if you have some squeaking in the background. You can at least mute when you're not talking and still have good audio or, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. It just adds a lot of options. So once you have OBS open, come to settings. If you want to go to output and change from simple to advanced, which will unlock more features for you to play around with. You wanna to come to recording and you wanna set your recording format to MP4 and tick all four of these audio tracks, enable all four of these. So make sure to tick on each four of these. The rest of your settings are up to you to select uh, your bitrate and stuff like that. It's just a little bit of trial and error to figure out what works for you and depending on what you're actually using your video for. But once you have that done, you're past the hard part. The next step is a little bit easier. You want to come to your audio mixer right here which will have all available audio input devices that you have right now in OBS available. You want to open up your mixer and uh, this is going to be your available audio tracks. So I have my microphone and desktop audio. Now if we bring our attention over here to the right hand side we have our tracks and we have our four audio tracks that we enabled before. So this is track one, two, three and four. So as we can tell, track one only has my mic enabled. So when we listen to track one, we will only hear my microphone. Track two is just desktop audio. Tracks three and four are both. Now you can set these up however you want and you can also give them names. If you come back into your settings, go to the output tab and go to audio, you can name these, apply, and then it will rename them as we look at later. So now when you start recording any video, it will have your multiple audio tracks. So this is, uh, this is one of the videos I had made from before. I feel like I'm in one of those like cooking shows. Here's one I made before. Uh, so if we use this example of a video I made before, as if we play the video, we are only going to hear one audio track. And this is within, within most audio software from what I know. We are just going to hear whatever your first track is. In this case, it's just my microphone. Ages. You're just gonna hear me talking or my mic general background ambient noise. This is obviously not what you mostly want. So how you can check this is, I recommend VLC Media Player as a video player for everything. It's my favorite video player. If you come up to audio and audio track, you can see, this is another way of testing. You can see we have our four audio tracks. So audio track number one, just gonna be my microphone. Audio track number two is gonna be my desktop audio or whatever you set it to. So if I start playing audio track number two, you will see that it's just system sound. You not hear, you don't hear my mic anymore. You just hear the game and people talking. It? it sounds yeah. like pigeons like being whatever system sound is set up. And that's how that works. Now, if you bring this into editing software, for instance, this is Premiere Pro. If I bring in one of my video clips that I previously set up, you can see that it has four audio tracks attached to it just from a video clip. And uh, this is how you edit and post process. So if I open these up, audio track one, just my microphone. Audio track two is uh, just system sound and three and four are both combined. And that's how you set up multiple audio tracks in OBS. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to drop a like and share it with any of your friends that might have any handy use from this. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will help to the best of my ability. Or if you want me to make any more OBS tutorials or any tutorials in general, let me know what you'd want me to make and I will help out as much as I can. But anyway guys, check out the other videos on the channel and thanks so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace. Mm-hmm.